when Chris adopted an orphaned boy in Tunisia. He never expected anything in return but love. 27 years later, however, Arkan found an amazing way to repay him for his kindness. Arkan was born in Tunisia, the northernmost country in Africa. His name meant a person worthy to be relied upon, providing shelter for others. Unfortunately, his mother died during childbirth and he was left an orphan. This little baby boy became an occupant of the SOS Children's Village in Gamarth shortly after birth, as none of his family could be located. Life was hard at times, but this boy had a resilient and fighting spirit from a very young age. A few years passed and Arkan was now a boy of six, living in a country that was severely affected by poverty and a high tendency of high school dropout rates. He knew that he had to make a future for himself. Meanwhile, back in the United States, Chris Peterson was getting restless. He felt a calling to go to Africa and do humanitarian work and felt strongly led to focus on Tunisia. Coincidentally, arrangements were made for Chris to join the team of the SOS villages in Gomarth, Tunisia. When he arrived, he found so much work to do. Some children attended afternoon programs at the children's homes, while many found a loving home environment amongst the SOS family. Both categories needed constant care. Raising orphans was a tangible way to show love and compassion, and Chris dove right into it. The moment that Chris and Arkan met, an interesting bond was formed. Arkan became Chris's right-hand man. Whether it was helping to offload food supplies or whether he acted as a guide for the foreigner, the two men instantaneously became a strong team to reckon with. Chris quickly found his footing in Africa, and that's where he wanted to make a difference. Arkan was focusing hard at school, and Chris became his after-school tutor, teaching him to speak perfect English. This boy had an aptitude for languages, but also had a keen mind and the ability to repair broken things in the orphanage. He had the right gift to pick up something from the dumping sites and transform it into a useful item for the SOS village. Although this bond was firmly established between the two of them, Chris wanted to give Arkan the security that he would be there for him for the remainder of his life, not as a humanitarian worker, but as a father. For this reason, he started the process of adopting Arkan as his son. Although there were some challenges, the fact that Chris had already been working in Tunisia for more than five years gave some credibility to the relationship and the two best friends officially became a family soon after Arkan turned 15. High school was flying by very quickly. Chris wanted to introduce his boy to some of his relatives in America and the two visited his hometown for a brief vacation over a school break. It was then that this family offered to pay for Arkan's studies in case he wanted to pursue a higher education in America. This was an exciting opportunity that the boy wanted to grab onto with both hands. But first, he had to complete his high school education and find out exactly what he wanted to study. When the time finally came, Arkan enrolled at Stanford University in California to study engineering. He was a dedicated student with a passion for innovation. From the start, it was clear that the humble beginnings this young man came from gave him a different insight into infrastructural development. It did not take long for the university to support the talent and dedication that Arkan displayed. After his first year, he was awarded an academic scholarship. The five years it took for Arkan to complete his studies were a challenging time. For the first time in his life, he had to spend so much time away from his father. Chris was a pillar of strength for him and a safety net to fall back on. Although their relationship had started in an unconventional way, there could not have been a stronger father-son bond between these two men. The difference in cultural background and ethnicity was no barrier to the love that existed between the two of them. Arkan knew that he was loved and could count on his father's unconditional support, but also received correction, discipline and structure, values that helped him develop a strong character and moral compass. Chris remained in Africa, continuing with his life passion for providing humanitarian aid. Unfortunately, his health had taken a knock and he was not feeling his best self. Whenever he had a break from school, Arkan would return to Tunisia to visit his father. But as his studies progressed, he started working during holidays, gaining some practical experience on the field he liked the most. Twice during this period, Chris had to return to the United States for medical intervention and the two of them cherished that time together. Finally, Arkan was about to graduate. There were no doubts that his father would be his guest of honor at his graduation ceremony. Chris was so proud of his son, who had been brought into his life not by chance, but by fate. Although he had dedicated his life to making a difference in Tunisia, 
raising and mentoring this boy of his was without a doubt his greatest achievement. The graduation ceremony was a very special day for both Chris and Archon. Little did Chris anticipate what an inspiration his son had become to others. Not only was he extremely popular amongst his fellow students and professors, but he was about to graduate valedictorian of his class. Archon had not shared this information with his father prior to that day as he wanted to surprise him. Also, despite all his achievements, this young man remained humble. Archon never forgot where he came from. He always remembered that if it wasn't for his father and the strength of character that he saw in him, he might have ended up on the streets without ever finishing school. Archon was also always grateful for the difficult times in his life, as they made him appreciate the good times all the more. In his valedictorian speech, he shared some memories of him growing up in an orphanage in Tunisia. He explained how difficult it was to leave for America, even if he knew that this was an incredible opportunity and blessing that few people from Tunisia ever got. He shared this vision of wanting to make a difference in his native country by contributing to the development of its infrastructure that would be both efficient and sustainable for the environment. Then his speech shifted to his father. Arkan described Chris as one of the most unselfish men he had ever come across in his entire life. He shared stories of cold nights when Chris would give up his food to feed another hungry person. My father was the one who taught me to love other people more than myself. He always said that rules and boundaries are there for a reason. They will protect you from a dangerous world. It is much like building a bridge over a crocodile-infested river. As long as the bridge is strong and you stay on it, you're safe. There was hardly a dry eye in the house, but what happened next was even more astounding. How could a boy coming from an impoverished African country ever repay his parents for all the sacrifices that were made through the years? Although parents usually do everything out of pure love, it is a blessing when their children acknowledge their contribution towards them becoming the strong person they are. This is exactly what was about to happen. After 27 years, Arkan was living up to his name and being a person to be relied upon. Not only had this young man completed his studies, but in secret, he had started building up his own engineering company. He had already gotten a number of big contracts in America and arranged for some investment in infrastructure projects in Gamarth, the town he had grown up in Tunisia. But the greatest surprise was yet to follow. Arkan had contracted one of his architect friends to design a building with Tunisian architectural elements to house his engineering company. Through the building, he wanted to honor the work Chris had done in Tunisia. The name of his company was displayed in large golden letters on the majestic building. Chris Patterson Engineering Pty Ltd. This company also offered bursaries for people who wanted to study engineering or sponsorships for people who wanted to do humanitarian aid in African countries. Through the Chris Peterson Foundation, his father's memory would live on long after his death. Arkan presented this gift for his father in front of the entire school, and Chris could do nothing but cry of happiness and pride. Adopting that orphaned boy had been the best decision he had ever made in his entire life, and Arkan's love would be with him forever. What a beautiful ending! Have you ever done something to thank your parents for their support? What would you do if you had the chance right now? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.